Hi, and welcome to another episode of Card Shop with Sari. I'm Julie with the Argenta Branch Library, and we're part of the Layman Library System here in North Little Rock, Arkansas, and so welcome. I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, before I introduce Sari to come over, and she's going to show all the techniques. Um, this month's theme is tea and comfort. A little teapot. Um, and these will make great um, Mother's Day gifts. It would make a great little, um, even like a little get well gift for somebody. Um, just a cheery little, um, you know, put it as a birthday gift. You know, maybe even add a little gift card if you want something more. But Terry's going to teach you um, how to make a different kind of box. We've made boxes in the past classes, and this one's going to be a little bit different. She's going to teach you that. Um, you're going to make little coasters. Um, and in your kit is going to be um, some tea bags. Every kit will have about two tea bags. Um, it may be, look a little bit different than these. I have a mixture, so you'll have, you'll have two tea bags and those are gonna go in your gift. You're gonna make a sweet little uh, shaker card. And uh, if you can see the clear, and Sari's gonna teach you the magic of how to make a little shaker card. Your tools for this month is you're gonna have um, a new embossing stylus. This one's a little bit different than the ones that you've gotten in previous kits. And you're gonna get a nice new metal ruler. And Sari will talk a bit about why she likes the metal rulers. So we're including a metal ruler. You're gonna get a collection of different, um, these are kind of foam tapes. Um, you'll get a collection, and she's gonna show you which ones we'll use for this kit. And some of them we're gonna use in future kits. Um, and she will go over that. You'll get the, the the pieces of cork, which you'll make the uh, coasters with. And I'm so happy that you join us every month for Card Shop with Sari. And just remember that our kits, um, you call the Argenta Branch Library, the number will be posted, and uh, reserve your kit uh, for that month. Um, and then we'll set up a pickup time for you to come um, and get the kit. And they are one per person. And, and these kits, um, they are designed um, as an adult um, project. They're projects that you can replicate um, if you've got kids and grandkids and you wanna uh, replicate it. Um, you know, you can always make, make your own copies uh, before you actually start making the kit so that you have plenty. All of the items that we provide are items that if you do not get a kit, um, it, but you have access to the video, then these are all items that you can get at your local craft or the your local uh, dollar type stores. Um, we've tried to make it very easy that um, if you didn't get a kit, everything is very um, easily available to you, either with something that you already have at home or something that you can pick up. Some of these things you can even pick up in the grocery store um, if you go to like the school supply aisle. That's kind of where we've uh, done some of our shopping. So again, I want to thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Card Shop with Sari. And I'm going to put my mask back on and Sari is going to come over and she's going to take you through the techniques of making some tea and comfort for somebody special. Thank you so much. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Card Shop. Thank you to Julie. Thank you to the Argenta Branch Library and thank you for joining us today. We are going to be making some projects. The theme is tea and comfort. So one of the things we'll be making are teapot coasters. They're made out of fun foam and they have a cork back. They are super simple and very fun. I know for those of you at home who do not have a kit, you won't be able to make this exact item but you will understand the concept and I trust that you'll be able to find something that you can work with to make some coasters. We're also, this is designed as a gift item, so we're gonna be making this really fun shaker card um, and it has a little teacup on it and then a box, of course, to put everything in. Um, this box, I'm gonna show you in the close-ups, but it happens to use the napkin applique concept that we did in the last kit. I'm sorry, the last class. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to start with our easiest project first. These adorable teapot coasters are made out of fun foam and they have cork on the back side. You have these items in your kit. 
These are your pieces of cork. They have self-adhesive um, tape on the back side. This is your liner that you'll be peeling off. Um, don't peel that off yet. I'm just showing you that's what you'll do. This is adhesive backing. And these are your pieces of fun foam. Now, static electricity is going to be playing around here. You will need those small little pieces. Now, you have two colors that have been cut the same. As you can see, you can put the teapots opposite directions or the same direction. The choice is yours. And there's a ring that goes around the outside of each one. Peel off the backing. That's it. Now that you've made your coasters, we're going to make the box, the gift box for them. And it will include this plaid strip and some twine that you can tie it closed with. It slides wherever you want to on the box. These are the pieces you will use from your kit, including your baker's twine and the plaid strip that I talked about, which will wrap around the outside of the box. You'll need your utility knife, the glue squares, your metal ruler, cutting mat, which you would have received in a previous kit, and these two pieces. Notice there is a box top and a box bottom, and they are different sizes. The box top is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. The box bottom is six inches by six inches. The top fits over the bottom when you close it. Laying your cutting mat down on your surface, take one of your templates and your metal knife Place the metal knife, I'm sorry, I said metal knife, I mean metal ruler, um, right along the outside edge of this light gray line. I've made it light gray so that it doesn't matter if you still see a little bit of it. Again, using your metal ruler, line it up on your dotted lines Grab your stylus, which I forgot to tell you is part of what you need for this project. And slide it along, pressing down to make a score line. little diagonal pieces on your template. Kind of hard to see, but you can see them if you have the template. You want to cut straight and then a little tiny clip out of the, out of the tab. Make your tabs for the box. You'll need your little glue dots. Four of them.
blue dot is here. Square it up. Make sure the edges are nice and straight. Squeeze. Do that on all four sides. Repeat the same thing for your other half of the box. box top, box bottom. Put your coasters, your tea, close the box, take your strip, Wrap it around, use another one of your glue dots. Wrap the strip, a little snug. There you go, it still slides. So you can position it where you want to. You have two colors of Baker's twine. You have yellow and green. You could use both. You can use either one. I just tied mine in a knot, but I wrapped it around a few times first and then tied it. You can decorate your box any way you'd like. This is a box that I made using the napkin technique. Um, the back of it is just plain. I didn't do the bottom and I put the napkin on, my, on the top of my box before I glued it on the corners. So while it was still flat, I put the napkin on like we did in last month's class and I let it dry and then I continued putting my box together. So you can see right here is where it's glued. And I think it came out gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to move on to this really fun shaker card. These are the items from your kit that you will need to make this shaker card, including this little piece of acetate. If you're working from home and you don't have a kit, um, I recommend, as you know, going to your recycle bin and seeing what you can find. Um, I happen to use page protectors. Um, I've used packaging from all kinds of things, so look for, look for good little pieces of acetate. This happens to be one uh, that I brought with me that I did get out of my recycling. Here's what you have in your kit. Here's what I have from my recycling. There's really not a big difference. You will be using double-sided tape and double-sided foam tape. As you can see, these are in three different widths. I'm going to be using this middle one right here. These are the tools that you will need to make this shaker card. Cutting mat, your metal knife, and your utility blade. I like to use a metal knife when I'm cutting with a utility blade because if I'm using a plastic knife, Sometimes my blade will cut into it. Um, the metal is just much better for the things that I do, and I strongly recommend it. Start by getting this item out of your kit. We're going to cut out the very center of it. You can see the difference here. 
align your ruler along the inside line, the very inside line. Now, here's the trick in doing this. You want to start at the corner and come down, but don't go all the way to the corner. Stop before you get to the corner. I'll explain why in a moment. Also, the reason that you're doing the inside of the frame first is because if you did the outside, your frame piece would become very small and it would be hard to hold it in place while you were cutting this inside line. So it's easier to do the inside first and then the outside. If you do it wrong and make a mistake and cut your frame apart a few times, you'll be highly motivated to do it in this manner. Okay, now I turn my frame around. I don't know if you can see this on camera. Right here, my lines do not connect. I've turned it around and I'm going to connect it. I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to start with my blade in the corner because I don't want to accidentally cut into this part here. I don't want to cut my frame. So I'm going to do that for every corner that is not free. Now I can pop this up. Once I have this, now I need to turn it into this. Here is where you will cut your outside edges. And this time, you do not have to be careful about cutting the corners. Cut all the way. and this is the double-sided tape not the foam tape this is just regular flat tape this is the one you want right now apply your tape to the long edges first and see how I'm going right up against the edge This is called the liner. This paper part is called the liner. If it gives you trouble coming off, try another corner. Now do your short size. The reason you take off the liner is you can overlap the short sides a little bit and make sure that you have adhesive right up to the very edge. This is gonna form a seal when you put your plastic on and your shaker elements inside, so you need to get this secure. Take your piece of acetate, carefully lay it on here. If you have anything that sticks over the edge like mine, just take your scissors and trim that off. When you're finished, it will look like this. Apply your foam tape. This is the medium sized one that I used. Apply it in the same way, the long sides and then the short sides, but leave the liner on. Leave the liner in place. Do not take it off. You're going to take your sequins. And you only want about 
half of this little spoon, maybe even less, that you're gonna sprinkle into here. You're gonna put it on the plastic. The reason I'm saying don't put too much in there, here's the shaker card example that we have. Things are moving around inside there. And here's the first one that I made. And I put too much in there, and you can't see what it says. So you can see it if you move everything like that. But my suggestion is be go easy on whatever you put inside your shaker card. You can always add more when you're doing a dry fit. A dry fit is before you've taken these off. So add your shaker element into here. Take your My Cup of Tea, cut around the edges with either your scissors or your utility blade and metal ruler. And this is where I'm doing a dry fit. My adhesive is not exposed. I think I have enough in there, but if you want more, you can put more in now. And take this back off, and I can add more if I want to. Now you expose all your adhesive on all four sides. And then you would lay this over so that it looks like this. It's all sealed up inside here. And now I have my shaker element. Get your double-sided tape, not the foam tape, the flat tape. Put it on the back of here. Fold your card. And stick it on the front. And there you have it. You've made a shaker card. And there we have it, a little tea and comfort to give as a wonderful gift, as a thank you, Mother's Day, or anything you can think of. Thank you so much for joining us again at Card Shop, and thanks to the Argenta Branch Library. Please share this video with all of your friends, and have a great day.